So if you're looking for a new construction in coastal Delaware, I've got a good one for you. Um, I'm going to go over my top seven new communities in coastal Delaware that kind of help you narrow down and see what location, maybe what builder and what community most important that's going to suit your needs the best. Uh, so if that's something that you're looking to do, you want to stick around and not miss this one. So what's going on everybody? This is Rich, your Maryland and Delaware realtor and I get people that reach out all the time, never too busy to answer questions and offer up some help uh, if you need it. So make sure my contact information is gonna be down below in the description. But without further ado, let's hop into this and go over the top seven communities in no particular order in coastal Delaware. Number one, let's check out Millville by the Sea. And this is in Millville, Delaware, just like it sounds. But uh, here I'm looking in the MLS and on the map, just kind of give you a, a good idea uh, where it sits. Just a little bit west of Bethany Beach. And this particular community, why I like it is it's only about five miles to Bethany Beach. And the position that it is, it's a little west, so it's a little bit out of the action. And uh, of course you can head south, you know, hit Route 54, which you have a bunch of things down here, like Harris Teeter to Freeman Stage. And of course that 54 takes you right into Fenwick Island uh, Beach if you want to go that way. This is becoming a pop more popular area and you know, this is just a little west of Ocean View too, which is another popular town. Um, but let's take a look on this map here towards the little bottom. You can kind of see the outline of Millville by the Sea here. And this particular section of it, because Millville by the Sea has been there for a couple years, uh, but this uh, new section, DR Horton is the builder. This is actually a townhome um, options that are on here. And they start anywhere from uh, the 370s. And there are three, three bedroom, two and a half bath uh, units. And they're anywhere from you know, that 1700 up to 2300 in size. And this is what they look like. Come with the garages, which, are, which is nice. Two floors. And you know, particularly, you know, with a like a DR Horton, uh, you know, usually there's not a whole lot of customization with these units, but they keep it simple. Usually you'll have maybe three or four packages to choose from and you can get some nice materials, but they, they try to keep it simple and they'll usually in those packages have a certain color countertops or type of countertops you can choose and the flooring with the cabinets and so on. Um, but it keeps it efficient, but it also helps keep the cost down a little bit. And if you know anything about DR Horton, of course they're a national builder, been around a long time. Um, so very credible. Uh, let's just go over a little bit of the quick stats. Of course, Millville by the Sea as a community has 150 plus homes total. So it's a good sized community. And your HOA fee is running about $3,500 for the year uh, but there are six models to choose from you know in this uh, schooner cove is the section in millville by the sea that that the dr horton's in but they you know you have access to like the bocce ball clubhouse exercise fitness uh, and there's a park pool tot lot matter of fact the pool is just right down walking distance right off to the side you know james farm eco park is uh just a little, little bit over five and a half miles away over there in Ocean View, which that's a pretty cool spot. Bethany Beach is the closest there, about five and a half miles. So uh, just far enough out of uh, the action a little bit there, but not too far that you still go in if you like. And, uh, you know, the community has plenty of amenities and it's a very reasonable price point, uh, you know, in that around that 370 price mark. Of course, I have here 350, which is still possible. Um, so as far as incentives, uh, at the time of this recording, I didn't see any uh, advertised incentives, but uh, like most builders, you know, they give you a little bit of incentive if you use their lender, and sometimes uh, they're offering to actually buy down your interest rate, maybe like a temporary 2-1 buy down. All right, number two, we're on to Marlin Chase by Shell Brothers in Ocean View, Delaware. So we're moving just a little bit north. And, you know, of course, these are in no particular order as well. I'm just pretty much uh, starting from further south on, and moving up towards uh, Lewis, Delaware. You can see here on the map, you're still a little bit west of Bethany Beach. So we're just getting a little closer in Ocean View. And, you know, we were over here by Millville. 
Um, but if you take a look at this map here where it sits and that, you know, Marlin Chase is actually just right down the street from um, the James Farm Eco Park, which I mentioned that in the last one, which that Eco Park has you know, different trails. You can ride bikes, walk. Um, I believe there's some camping or, uh, you know, spots over there, but there's a small little cool uh, bay beach that you can go hang out. So let's check out the listing that they, they actually have on here. And I've been through Marlin Chase many times. Actually, uh, I just recently drove through there, which you probably, I'm gonna put some footage on here as, as well. But I actually visited it and did a full tour uh, back about nine months ago when they were just just starting the, the break ground and, and um, you know, they had some structures up. But now I believe they, they only have nine lots left. But uh, this is a great community. Uh, number one, because it's in Ocean View, and and of course Shell Brothers is a great builder. Uh, they're here in Delaware. They also have uh, building over in like uh, Richmond, Virginia, down in Tennessee. Um, so they and they they have a lot of communities in uh, Delaware. So and a lot of these uh, in Marlin Chase, actually all of them are single family homes. They're starting right around in that six hundred thousand dollar range. Um, you know, prices can change. Actually, I have this at 574. That's with some of the incentives that they were advertising, which hasn't changed much. Uh, Incentive-wise, they're off about 24.5 in savings. And of course, they, uh, in, like most of their communities, they always uh, pay half of the Delaware transfer tax, uh, which is uh, 2%. Not all builders are doing that. They're actually, um, the total amount is 4% for Delaware uh, transfer tax, which that can add up. So that's, that's good savings there, plus 24.5, uh, which you could put that towards a rate buy down or maybe get, get some extra options in there. But 75 homes total in the community and some, some of the specs here with the HOA fee, which is just a little bit over $200 per month, which is pretty good. Um, like I said, all uh, one to two levels, single family homes, anywhere from 1,600 square feet on up to 3,800 square feet. So you can get some pretty decent sized ones, 3.8 miles away from the uh, Bethany Beach. And just checking out their website on here real quick. You, know, you can kind of get a little better glimpse of the community here. Like I said, there's only nine lots uh, left. And plus they have the model home there, which I guess they'll eventually sell that off. But you can kind of see uh, they got a pond in, in the middle there, but you can see where the pool and sports carts sports courts dog park all that's going to be kind of set up you enter into the community right about here cool about shell brothers is they give you a lot of different model options on here you can see it's helped a set of clients uh purchase one and there is a lot of different options you can customize with bump outs uh to add sizes of course you got you know, your hardscaping on the outside you can add like a grill area um, and just a bunch of different materials on the inside. You can pretty much, uh, I call this almost like a semi-custom home, um, but they, of course they give you the outline here and different elevations you can choose from on the outside. Um, but a lot of different options there where you can really uh, make a personalize your home. Yeah, so that's Marlin Chase, great community. Great location, you know, Ocean View has been uh, building up a lot over the years, but uh, what's nice about it, it's real close to Bethany. Um, it's a little bit more year round, but you know, off season, it does get a little bit quieter, maybe compared to up in uh, like the Lewis area. So hey there, I wanted to cut in real quick and just mention about a quiz that I put together. So if you're looking for a new construction, uh, I'll put a link down below in the description. Uh, a quiz takes you one minute to fill out, but what it will do is actually offer up uh, maybe three or four uh, coastal Delaware communities that might be a right fit for you, you know, based on your answers. Um, so it's like a one page cheat sheet that has that lists all the amenities, uh, HOA fees, property tax, uh, everything that you would want to know uh, about a community and really to help you start narrowing things down too. So I'll actually email uh, that uh, cheat sheet packet to you uh, based on your custom answers uh, to, to help you out. So make sure you check that out. So let's get back to the video here. Number three community here in coastal Delaware, which again, we're just continuing to move up uh, a little bit north. Uh, we were west of Bethany Beach. Now we jumped all the way up here to Hoboth beach. We're looking at Oyster House Village by Jim Craft Homes 
And again, that's the, the builder, national builder. The reason why I like this community course, location is great. You know, if you like Rehoboth Beach and you want a little bit more action here, you're just a little bit, uh, you know, west of Route 1 or Coastal Highway there. Uh, but you're, the bridge is right there. Um, and this community is only about 30 homes. What I like about it too is the, uh, the Rehoboth Lewis Canal uh, that it sits on. So this does, this does have a, a small little marina uh, that you can rent boat slips. This is more of a, a luxury uh, community and of course location closer to the beach. You know, they have uh, their price ranges. You're starting at about 1.4 million to 1.6. And this particular one only has one model home. Uh, but you can do some different options with it, but you know, there's four to six bedrooms, three to five bathrooms, and they're typically around 32 to 3,800 square feet. Uh, but this is what most of them look like, um, you know, with a garage and multi-level. Uh, one of the listings they have on here, we can take a look at some of the pictures to give you a feel of what the inside of the home can look like. There's the outside exterior. These are some older pictures. There's a lot more on there. Um, your house is built in the community, which you'll see on the footage that I'm that I'm putting in here as well. Uh, of course, you know, top of the line materials. So one model at three elevations. Uh, so you can make the exterior look a little bit different there. And there are some modifications that get more bedrooms, a loft area uh, that they mentioned. Um, and of course, I mentioned about the community dock boat slips. They, they will have a community pool, some sports courts, and just 1.9 miles to Rehoboth, about seven, seven and a half miles to Lewis Beach in that Lewis area um, with the Cape Henlopen Park, which is a nice area uh, to go check out. And uh, they didn't say that they, at this time have any incentives, you know, in that community. And it looks like they are, uh, the builders pushing the, the total the four percent uh, transfer tax onto the buyer but um, again that could be negotiable uh, and you know things can change too so we could always look at that uh, you know yeah if this is the type of community that you would that you would be looking for the site map here you can see about 30 there's only about seven lots left where they sit you know, and the marina is back here on the canal and real quick with this canal, I want to show you if you had a boat and you want and you wanted one there. So this canal, if you go south, will put you right out to the Rehoboth Bay. You know, you can hit a lot of the Dewey Beach uh, area bars and so forth, restaurants. Uh, but you could also go head north, and this will take you all the way by Cape Penelope State Park, and of course right through downtown Lewis. But yeah, very nice home and pretty cool community. I like this, you know, it's a little bit more upscale luxury in here. Of course, your HOA feeds about 450 uh, monthly and those amenities that I mentioned that you get with it. Uh, but this one really is you know, all about the location and how close you are, you know, to Rehoboth, you know, and the beach area there. Number four community here, we're still in Rehoboth Beach, uh, Delaware. This is uh, McKinney's Grove by Brighton Homes. Uh, you can see down here on the map, you know, where we are. We were over here by the canal, right just a little to the west of uh, Route 1. So we're going to move up north just a little bit there. But And McKinney's Grove is east of Route 1, which makes it nice. And this is a, um, oh, actually, let me come on down here. And this is a, a pretty smaller uh, community with only 20 homes available. Um, or it's going to be at 20 homes all together uh, once it's finished out there. And so if you're looking for like a smaller community, uh, but in a convenient location, you know, McKinney's Grove might be a good option for you. Price points that they show on the website, you know, they start right around uh, the mid sixes, um, you know, for that. And this listing here looks like they got a price at 738. Um, but let's take a look at some of the pictures here. These are advertised as, uh, you know, luxury coastal, um, which is actually not bad. It does look like some good quality uh, materials that you have, you could choose from and some nice finishes uh, that, that are available with some of these homes. There are, uh, it looks like three available models, options that you can choose from for this community. 
Uh, they're all two stories, but I was looking at the floor plans on all three and it looks like a, you know, owner suite is available on your main floor, which, um, you know, I think is very popular. A lot of people look for that. Let's just go over some of the quick stats on there. So no, uh, amenities per se in this one, there are going to be, looks like a couple ponds in the community. Um, like I said, it's gonna be 20 homes total in there. You know, your HOA fee is going to be right around $3,300. Uh, estimate it and they estimate your property tax only being right, right around $1,500 per year um, which again this is Delaware so it sounds like unrealistic but uh, you know it's pretty 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 cheap so yes yeah, so a big thing about this community is you know uh, not necessarily if you're not worried about uh, you know a ton of amenities it's about the location it's east of Route 1 so easy to get over the Rehoboth Beach and of course, you're right off of Route 1. It's not far away. So, you know, you got the outlets, restaurants, and of course the beach, you know, and, and Lewis, Lewis Beach, about six miles away, Cape, Cape Penelopin State Park, about eight miles there too. And uh, I mentioned Rehoboth Beach is about three and a half miles. And it's also uh, very, very close to the junction and breakwater trails, which, you know, run um, right in that Rehoboth area on, on all the way up until uh, the Lewis, Delaware area, you know, a little bit right below the Cape Pendleton State Park, which is a, um, you know, real nice paved uh, trails that you can ride bikes, uh, walk, and it used to be an old railroad. So yeah, so if you're looking for, you know, a smaller community, not really worried about the amenities, that's one of the reasons why I like this community because it is smaller and more so about the location east of Route 1. And uh, Brighton Homes, they're, uh, they're here in Delaware and they're building in Virginia. Let's keep it moving uh, for number five. We're, uh, we're headed over to Lewis, Delaware, Welch's Pond by Shell Brothers, the builder. And you can kind of see the circular map here, kind of see where it sits. It is west of uh, Route 1. Uh, it is Lewis, Delaware address. Um, you can see Route 24 right there too. And of course, it's just down below south of Route 9. Um, but it's real easy to kind of get into, uh, you know, towards Lewis, downtown Lewis, you know, right up here this way, Cape Pendleton's, uh State Park over this way, and of course you know where Rehoboth is. What I like about this spot too is you get a little larger lots. Uh, they're a quarter acre or larger. You know, sometimes with some of your communities, you know, when you get closer to Route 1 or east of it, they'll get smaller just because uh, you know, it's closer to the beach and there's not as much uh, room over that way. So um, that's perk. So if you want a little larger lot, maybe, uh, you know, a little larger yard, something that you can fence in, you know, Welch's Pond is a great location. This is one reason why I chose that. And I just helped, uh, you know, a set of clients actually purchase one in Welch's Pond. Um, so I've been through the whole selection process with them so far. And I have a whole uh, tour of Welch's Pond with uh, their model that's on site there, that's on my channel, which I'll link that in the uh, description. But uh, looking at this, kind of just zooming into the community here, you know, there's gonna be a total of 247 homes. So it's a large community, nice amenities in there too. Gonna to have like the clubhouse, the pool, um, low maintenance you got sports courts fitness center see this pavilion area there's going to be a dock area you could plop a, a kayak or paddleboard or something in there so i thought that was pretty cool but yeah while we're looking at it, this is the actual outline of the whole community you can see some different phases uh, that's going to be in there and it kind of shows you you know where the clubhouse pool you're going to have quite a few ponds in there sports courts down here and actually when you come into the community uh, right over here, this is where that main model home is, which I'm gonna show you some footage inside the community, you know, while, while I'll talk about it a little bit here. So there is just, uh, you know, 18 lots left, um, you know, and I, I mentioned about the location here. So it's about six and a half miles away from Rehoboth Beach, uh, five and a half miles from downtown Lewis. And of course, you know, the Breakwater Junction Trail is, uh, is about six to eight miles um, away from, from the, the community. Um, which if you're not familiar with the Junction Trail, it's a beautiful paved, used to be an old railroad uh, track. 
uh, that they used to use back in the day, but it's about six miles. It's paved. Some of it's paved, some of it's not, but you can kind of see this picture here. It's a great place to bike, walk. Um, and like I said, it extends all the way down from Rehoboth Beach on up to Lewis, Delaware. Different models that you have, you can see all the difference. That's a good thing about shell brothers. And actually going through the selection process, they had, uh, I believe, about 5,000 of selections. So you can really customize and do some different things uh, on the outside and inside. Um, so that's another thing too to keep in mind. Price range on these, you know, they start right around that six hundred thousand dollar mark, and this includes, right now at this recording, about twenty four thousand five hundred in incentives um, uh, that they give you, and you can put that towards options, or you could put it towards maybe buying down your interest rate, which is very popular right now. And uh, of course, Shell Brothers always mentions that they will pay half of your transfer taxes which is good price wise you know you can see the six hundred thousand dollars but you could add easily a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars on a lot of these homes particularly um you know when they have more options like that so it could be up to you uh, of where that pricing goes you know throw that out there keep that in mind obviously any new construction community and builder they'll usually advertise like your your entry price and it really just depends how you actually add on to it there's a couple of renderings of their uh pool clubhouse hoa fee is going to run you 290 295 per month and that does include you know uh maintenance of your amenities in there um little parks it does include your trash removal grass cutting uh on your property which is nice um and of course any of the maintenance of the pond streets sidewalks landscaping snow removal property taxes to be anywhere from two thousand to forty five hundred dollars per year some different floor plans but you can see when it's really staged some they have some really really nice looking homes and i know their process is pretty streamlined too and the good thing in welch's pond is um, basements are available uh you know if you're looking for that for a little extra space that's uh welch's pond if you're looking for something a little larger maybe uh still close to everything but a little a little west of route one you know something with some amenities um you know welch's pond might be the perfect fit for you number six is tower hill we're staying in lewis delaware uh, this is by the builder k hovanian which uh, is a well-known national builder um, but you can see here on the map we were just uh, you know down this way just a little bit so we're moving up north this is east of the route one um, and you can see it's just right behind uh, like the downtown area uh, Lewis Delaware and uh, we'll zoom into the community a little bit here decent sized community with 273 homes is planned uh, you know when it's when it's completed on there pricing starting uh, right around that 650 range or actually uh, 630 650 um, And they do have uh, they advertise at the time of this recording about thirty thousand dollars in incentives HOA fee running about two thousand a year property tax about three thousand a year um, And they're gonna have not nine different models to choose from uh, single and two level uh, options available and you can get them anywhere, you know about 1,800 square feet on up to 20, 2,700 square feet in size. Uh, you know, amenity-wise, you know, community pool, clubhouse, pickleball court, fitness center, uh, community garden, outdoor kitchen, fire pit. Um, a lot of those that uh, uh, that you would expect if you're looking for amenities. And it's great because it's only, um, you know, it shows on the map just about three miles into down, downtown uh, Lewis. So it's pretty, pretty much right there. And this one particular is close to the uh, uh, Georgetown Lewis Trail, which you kind of see on this map, this green line here where that runs. And it's about eight miles, you know, pretty easy. Uh, you can bike, walk, asphalt, um, you know, if you're looking for outdoor things to do uh, right there. Junction and Breakwater Trail is not far either. Of course, you got the hit Cape Hillopin State Park, which I mentioned on most of these. One of the listings they had in the MLS Kind of take a look at one that's going to be completed, you know, uh, nice materials in this one here. 
a nice choice of different about nine different models you know which I do have a lot of clients that uh, really have been ending up in this area because uh, they like you know downtown Lewis the ferries right there um, you know if you're traveling from the north you know it is is it the first town uh, that you hit uh, coming over here to coastal Delaware um, of course Rehoboth is real close there too and uh, you know, just great location um, I like the builder they have some great incentives but that's Tower Hill and that's a, a good good location there so if you're if you're looking for something with some amenities you know in that uh, you know 650 eight hundred thousand dollar price range um, you know this this might be a, a good community for you last up is number seven we kept moving north this is Fisher's Cove and this one's by Shell Brothers and uh, this is this one's right in the town of Lewis right next to the downtown area it's really easy to get to because of location you know it's gonna be higher price range you know these uh, start somewhere around the the 1.3 1.4 million uh, dollar mark um, and this is a Shell Brothers community, but you can also, they allow you to just purchase the lot. And I believe the lots I looked in there, uh, you can purchase them for about six fifty. dollars And of course, you can use your own builder uh, and, and build a custom home uh, with the builder of your choice if you choose to. Of course, Shell Brothers, they offer what they uh, usually do, you know, with their 24,500 24, incentives. Um, and of course, you're 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 being built, you know, by by Shell Brothers, and they have uh, nine different models you can choose from, uh, you know, with inside uh, the community here. So um, again, it's going to be small, um, no real, you know, amenities. But the biggest thing is the location here. Like I said, you got the canal which goes over here. You got the Lewis Beach there. Um, and downtown area is the biggest thing for the shopping restaurants and uh, this is just one of the uh, listings on here it kind of shows you how that neighborhood is is going to be set out and this one's pretty interesting because there's you know existing homes and this is an existing street uh, that used to be a dead end uh, Rodney uh, Avenue and uh, you know, coming back here they're gonna extend it you know you got you're gonna have two homes here but then you have most of them kind of in the circular area here. Looks like you got your drainage pond. But I just visited here. I did a full tour of this community about nine months ago. Uh, and I'll have that on the, down in the link in the description too. Let's look at the Shell Brothers website just to go over like some of the little information in there, which I mentioned about the incentives on there. Um, this is a little drawing of the community kind of showed you already on that other aerial map. Shell's uh, incentives there went over. So these are the models that you can choose from. You know, Chesapeake being probably their most uh, uh, popular floor plan and model. You can see there's after the incentive, it starts at 1.4. Your HOA fees run you about 2,000 annually. Property taxes estimated right around 3,000. So if you're looking to be close to the downtown Lewis area, Fisher's Cove is a good option and uh, it might be the perfect spot for you. So there was the top seven new construction communities in coastal Delaware that I would uh, recommend. And again, that's in no particular order, but my hopes is that, you know, this would kind of help you narrow down a little bit and, uh, you know, be a good starting point for you to check out and explore some of these communities. Uh, of course, you want to make sure that you take the free quiz that I have down below in the description. Um, you know, you might have seen like the PDF that I had put together, but it's based off of your answers and customized to your scenario and what you're looking for. Uh, again, it gives you a good starting point and I emailed that right out to you. And of course, if you need any help, you can reach out. It's one of the questions that I get to is, you know, do I really need an agent, uh, you know, when I shop for a new construction? And my answer is always yes, not just because I am an agent, but it's good to have somebody on the ground that knows the area and can, can help guide you through any, really any community and not with this one particular builder because uh, you're going to be talking with just their builder reps that are looking out for the best interests of the builder, obviously. And uh, they do allow you to have representation, somebody looking out for your best interests. Um, and of course, it's nice to have somebody who's been through the process 
uh, to make sure that, you know, avoid any costly mistakes. Having somebody here on the ground that has your back, you know, I'll be your eyes and ears, you know, sending you updates and just making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, so again, less stress for you. If the video has helped you out. Make sure you show the love, like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss any of the content that I come out with every week. And of course, until next time, I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.